all right welcome back guys in this video you will learn how to create this cool festive poster design inside photoshop step by step let's get started i'm going to start by working on the type so i'm going to switch to my text tool then i'll just add some text on the canvas then i'm going to transform the text and at this stage, I'm going to hold the shift key to scale it non-proportionally like so. On the layers panel, I'm going to make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl J. Then I'll hide the copy by just clicking on this icon. Now I'm going to right click here and choose blending options. Inside this window, I'm going to start by adding a stroke. And as you can see, all these settings look okay. Then I'll also add bevel and emboss by clicking on it. I'll just make sure it is set to alter bevel, smooth as the technique. And then I'll increase the depth up to 365 and make sure global light is turned off. Then just input these other values here and just click OK. With the move tool, I'm just going to move the text this way. Now let's enable the layer on top. I'm just going to modify the text by double clicking on it and just type this letter, then confirm it. Now as you can see, this piece of the text is extending towards the inner portion. That is not actually what I want. So I'm going to right click on the text layer here and choose convert to shape. Then I'll switch to my direct selection tool and then I'll just select all the points at the center like so. Then I'll hit the backspace key to get rid of all of them. Then with the ellipse tool, I'll just click inside here and drag to create a shape like so. Now I'm going to select the two shape layers and merge them. Then with the path selection tool, I'm going to select the front shape right here. Then I'll click on this button on the options bar and choose subtract front shape. Then I'll also click again here and choose merge shape components. Now I'll press shift A to cycle to the direct selection tool. And then I'll just select this point and shift select this other point right here. Now only these two points are selected. I'll just click on those two points and move them like this. Then I'll just double click on the thumbnail right here and hover here with the eyedropper tool to sample this same color. Then just confirm it. And I'll just rename the layer. Now to apply the same effect to this other letter, you simply come here, hold the Alt key, that will be the Option key, just click and drag the effects onto the layer. Now I'm going to select these two layers and group them. Then I'll right click on the whole group and then choose Blending Options. Then I'm going to add one more stroke to the whole group, as you can see. Now let's add some space in between these two characters. The next thing I'm going to do is to get rid of this background. Now I have an image on my desktop, I'm just going to drag that inside Photoshop. Then I'll right click on the image and duplicate it to the document I'm currently working on. Let's just move it down and to make sure I scale the image without losing any quality, I'm going to convert it to a smart object. Then I'll press Ctrl plus T to transform it. And I'll move it right here and confirm the transformation. Now I'm going to change this text color to black Then I'll switch to the brush tool I'll click on the options bar to review the brush settings And as you can see, I created a custom brush right here So I'm just going to double click to select it I'll create a new layer directly above this layer By clicking on the plus icon here And I'll just increase the size of my brush and I'll just click once to add the brush stroke just like so. Then with the move tool, 
I'll just move the layer below here and just align it with the text. Now, if the brush stroke appears to be too big, first start by converting it to a smart object and then you scale it down. Now with the text tool again, I'm going to add a new layer and just add some text above here. Then I'll right click on this text layer, choose blending options and then just add an outer glow to it. Now with the text tool, I'm going to add another text here. Now to make sure everything is centered, I'll press the V key to switch the move tool. Then with this particular layer selected, I'll just press Ctrl plus A. Then on the options bar, I'll just click here. I'm going to add a new layer and on the options bar, I'm going to choose another font. Here is the font I'll be using. I'll just click somewhere on the canvas and add some text. I'll just move the text layer here. Now as you can see, the text here at the top is too bright. So I'm going to expand this group and adjust the opacity of that particular text layer. Now the whole design is ready, but I think let's add some effects to it. And before you apply any effect inside Photoshop, you first need to select the layer. So I want to apply it to the background image, so I'll unlock it from here. Then I'll select the background, then I'll go to filter and choose render and add a lens flare. Let's just start by increasing the brightness. And then since I need to create some lines, I'll click on the last option here. And as you can see on the preview window here, this is how the effect is going to look. I'm going to confirm it and these are the lines. And as you can see on the layers panel, the lens flare came as a smart filter because we converted this layer as a smart object. As you can see guys, this is the final design I came up with. Thank you so much for watching the video to the end. I hope you found it very helpful. If you actually learned something from this video, please support the channel by subscribing and I'm going to see you in the next one tomorrow. Good luck.